Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play, Drake of Assassin's for Imperium of Earth. No, uh, Third Odyssey. Now, I have, it has been a while since I played last played this mod, and I said I would be back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering why you're playing as Byzantium. You said you were going to come back and play as one of the new nations. Well, one of the American nations. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because of the new mechanics in the Third Rome. I've just realized that this is going to be... I want to, I want to see this. And we know we're not going to read this, because I read this the first fucking time. We're going to get ourselves... To fucking America, ASA fucking P. Now we've got Greek fire. Of course, we'll take it with us. It's early on. It's a bit of a pain, but trust me, in the long run, it's actually useful. Now we're of course. What's this? We could do um, food. Be nice. I like food, but no. Knowledge is power. Uh, knowledge is going to help us early on. Um, now the trade efficiency. I'm actually going to gain food supply of ships uh, instead. Um, now, we uh, will need the funds from Genoa, or we can take ships from them. Uh, I'm actually going to take the ships, because that means we're going to be bigger when we get to America. Um, uh, yeah, so what's this one? Uh, Venice desires a Peloponnesian. Um, I'm going to take the stability, I think, for that one. I, I Normally, I will sell it to them, but I don't want to this time. And release more as an independent state. So well done, Maria. Um... And we're going to get ourselves to the Americas. Uh, so yeah, uh, what's this? Granada demands toll. Uh, what's this? So the Portuguese wish to strike a deal. A good. Uh, so which one is the better one again? Uh, good catch. Send them the forward little message. Now we should be able to get to America. Now when we get to America, we will go down. We will focus a bit more. A storm approaches. It took one of the supply ships. It took one of the treasure ships. Uh, our ruler dies and we gain a stability. Pantheon worship. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is where I would normally say, we are Hellenic. No. Ha. That's a good one. We're actually going to stay Orthodox. Um, and there we go. The settlement. Uh, the Empire of Alicia. Uh, so let's read this. We have finally arrived at the new coast. Now the settlement is in sight. Uh, we have gained and lost ships on the way, and now it's when it becomes clear that what impacts have been this had. Every bit of knowledge and technology has cost us dearly in manpower and supplies. There was only so much we could take along. In the meantime, the Ottomans have probably invaded what was left of our home. Let's make the let's make sure hope we made the right choices. Our new home, so Elias Zisia, and this is Neo Constantinopolis. Uh, forgotten homelands. Uh, we will never we will be ever return. Eager explorers, lands we have discovered still remain mostly unknown. But what did? But that did not stop our explorers, who, without much trouble, explored the areas around our capital. Now, I'm going to pause, ladies and gentlemen, because I am now going to say, from now on, I am going to be reading all of the events. Now, we've done most of these events before, but the difference is we are now orthodox. So a lot of them are changed, and we, there has also been a lot more added since the last time I played. Because the last time I played this was, was a long time ago. Um, we are. I'm, and I hope, you, ladies and gentlemen, just let you guys know this is going to be in place from Pyramid of Assassins because I'm having a few problems with it at the moment, and my PC, my PC does not like it. I don't know what it is, but whenever I try to play the mod, my computer just, just it, it just disagrees completely and turns off. Uh, so it's an issue I'm going to get looked at. But we're going to be doing an Alicia campaign and one of the Vikings. I haven't decided yet, but if you guys would like to put in the description which of the two Viking factions you would like me to play as, please do tell me because. But you'll probably see this, and I will have about probably five or six hours before I decide to record the uh, episodes that will go up 8 o'clock later that day. So, you will have more than enough time to tell me which one you want. And if I play the opposite one, I will play both of them eventually, because I'm probably going to be doing this until the DLC, new D uh, EU4 DLC comes out. And probably afterwards, because honestly, this is one of the mods where it's uh, very... I'm going to go on... I'm gonna go on to two speed wide explain this. This is one of the mods that's very, very comebacky to. Like you come back to a lot. It doesn't matter how often, but you come back to. But anyway, the priests and the de uh, deacons who came with us on our journey across the sea are using their positions in the community to help keep our people united in the face of great hardship. Holding hurt sermons and offering aid to those who need it, even if they use their influence to steal some small authority from us, we must admit we need their help. The two swords of the emperor and the church will conquer this land. So right now we've been given 50 authority, which is means we can actually have one of our icons if we wanted. Uh, but no, what we need to do is pick a thing, native, and I'm going to go for native repression because in the long term it's simpler. But now we need to colonize one of these, and I'm going to do uh, this one first. I always do this one first, so we're going to go get that. 
Yeah, we didn't have this last time I played, I don't think. Um, there is a lot of new stuff. We're salvaging the fleet. Upon them holding and loading the last of the cargo from the main remaining ships, our sailors re realized that our own fleet had taken much more damage in the storm than we'd originally thought, and it is in need of urgent repair. There is a debate occurring amongst the people among the people of usefulness on the usefulness of repairing the fleet at all, as it will be expensive to repair and maintain. The alternative is that we break down the ships for wood and we use them to help build the local infrastructure such as roads and housing, or building or, or for building a basic wooden palisade around the settlement to help protect us against a native incursion. Now I normally will go for the castle, but uh, I'm actually not going to do any of these. I'm going to be doing the breakdown of the ships to improve the local infrastructure. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because Elysia needs to be damn fucking good because of Elysian Silk, which, if you haven't played this mod before, ladies and gentlemen, just stay tuned. You will un you will understand completely. Uh, we do need to trade in the Bay of Elysia because at the moment we just need the increased trade from the, uh, well, the increased power from the guy. We're going to go up to free speed. And what we're going to do is, like I said, just colonize the uh, uh, the region that is Elysia, which is this. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Now, we can pay for this one, uh, but look, you guys will see soon enough. And we're going to get the mission, the Elysian Homelands, because uh, that will uh, help with this. Now, we can reform this. Is, this, is, this is, we can reform the clergy. Uh, the Empire runs on paper. This is just a normal Byzantine mission, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But I am actually getting really giddy for playing this mod again. It has been so long. And personally, I have looked fucking forward to this mod uh, ever since one of you guys asked. Now, I do apologize that I'm not playing as them, the ones you asked me for me to straight away. And uh, I, again, there is a reason. Um, because I, I just wa I wanted to play as these guys first just to get me back into the Git mod. And make me a pre re to appreciate this mod, you really need to play for like straight as the uh, Elysians first, and then you appreciate the mod a lot more uh, for how it's storytelling and it's um, how good it is. Just a it's storytelling alone really is is amazing. Um, at the moment, we are we're getting 550 people a year, so we're going to use those to fill up these three after this, um, and we'll have the Bay of Elysia. So yeah, we're not gonna have to. We're not gonna worry about the rest of the world now. My planning for this is again just a complete conquering, hopefully a complete conquering of the entire thing, and then go back and take over the Byzantium Empire or Byzantine Empire. Basically, exactly what I did the last time I played this. Uh, I don't actually remember the last time. I know it was a long time ago though. I think it was a year maybe. Uh, so I am looking forward to. And the, <laughs> is that one for us, game? <laughs> Minimum autonomy minus ten percent. That's. I, I guess I'll go for that. Ooh, we nearly own a large city. One more development and we own a large city here. Um, I mean... I would like to get tech, though. Tech is still very important early on, so... As much as I would like to do that, it's uh, not as important. Now, we're going to go back up to 4 speed now, because there's not much happening. Early on, there doesn't much, much doesn't happen. And to be honest, 4 speed is actually a lot more fun to play on, on this mod, because... Uh, a lot of stuff does happen, and you'll be pausing and, pa and pausing on and off a lot. So it's it makes more sense to just uh, uh, pause or play on a higher speed and pause a little left off, a little less often. Or, well, when like in between pauses, you are feeling that you're getting a little bit more out of the game, and it, it, it's just it's smart in my opinion. So yeah, we're gonna get ourselves Delaware. Now we are gonna have to put up with the colonial powers, which is one of the reasons I love this mod so much. Um, it, it gives you so much uh, variety, but you don't feel like you're overpowered by making a country in America. You feel like you had to make choices and just it adds to it. But uh, a new Alexandria or nay Alexandria will be done soon enough. Um, and all that, and I'm just looking forward to this. It's going to be fun. There's so many, there's so many decisions we're going to get to make, which is great. Our current leader is a 635, uh, Constantinus the 11th Palogos. And our son is a 350, and fortunately, is a... it's not the best, um, but he definitely is okay. Uh, getting that minimum autonomy would actually be really good. Um, damn, I can't have that one. It's just the Empire runs on paper, of course. Uh, getting our early, getting stability early on is definitely uh, not stability. Getting uh, the development ideas early on is definitely great for us. Because this mish this alone is going to make our country so much better. Nobles demand rec uh, compensation. We'll give them the money we have. Um, it's definitely a, good, a great idea to get pay off whoever you can. 
Uh, you are going to have a very, like, you're probably going to have monetary issues until you have the entirety of Illyria. Or the Illyria, yeah, the North Illyrian coast. I think that's the actual region. Yeah, that's the region. Uh, until you have Illyria itself under, under control. And there we go, New Alexandria is, uh, there we go, see that, now we have a profit. But we're going to be paying off, we're going to be using that profit again to get Delaware. So, it's not a profit, it's uh, really a distribution of wealth. Now, organizing of the masses, we now have established a basic settlement. It isn't pretty or all that large, but it's our home now. We have established a basic militia for defending the town, set aside some land for farming and cleared local forests for wood. The overseas that run this, these, these projects are requesting more workers, however. They are not enough, uh, they're not enough for all of them, what should we do? So we're going to, in New Alexandria, I personally think we need a little bit more manpower, so I'm going to go order the people to join the militia. Now, and anyway, and the Legion homeland. Now that we have founded a new city, it is time to expand our influence in the lands that surround it. As we would, uh, this would be a buffer zone that would, any enemies must first pass through. We would also hope one day to benefit from the, what became, what may become the culture and economic center of our empire. So it just immediately caused it. Homeland settled. The neighboring province of New Alexandria settled. It is time to encourage settlers to move there. While this may weaken our capital for a short period of time, it will certainly help with the development of the newly acquired land. So we get emigration from our capital, but this province also gets put up to a 10. So it's definitely in our best interest. Again, though, stick to, when you're doing this, stick to the first, the, like these, stick to the Releasia and then expand outwards. Because finishing this mission, uh, mission here uh, is definitely in your best interest. And to do that, you need all these. Um, apparently, Delaware doesn't count in there anymore. Uh, wait, which one am I missing? Oh, no, 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 it does. It's just it's not Delaware anymore. Whoops, that's my fault. Um, we can reestablish the merchant class and do all this settlement progress. All this is in time. This is the one I haven't done, though. Elysian reform, reform the clergy. Um... I'm looking forward to that. Militia matters. The commander of the city guard has received numerous reports of native raids directed at the peasants who work with wheat fields of outside the defense of New Constantinople. The obvious situation, a solution is to send more men to patrol those new areas. However, the guard is spread thin as it is, and this would leave the city sure, severely undermanned. The militia are rather basic right now, made up of retired soldiers and part-time farmers. But with a little time and training, they could become a significant force in their own right. Uh, now we can either get production or tax. And as I know for future reference, you want base production. So send more guards to patrol the farmland and housing outside the city walls. That is definitely in our best interest. But we also now get a, a large city, which is great. Local natives observe ceremony. A native scouting party has observed our settlers during ceremony last night. And we were terrified of the displays of smoke, the clothing and the serene songs. They have returned to their leaders believing we are demons or demon worshippers. And the clan is treating us differently since. Now, so it looks like as when you go orthodoxy, everyone is actually op like doesn't like you. Whereas when you play as the Hellenic, people are um, much, they're very much on your side and uh, very much trying to get into your good graces. Or, well, not trying to get into your good graces. You're very much part of them in that sense. They seem, they feel simil sim uh, similar to you and they think you're similar and you're very friendly in that regard. So, but this time... Yeah, we're playing as a bit more of an aggressor. Um, and someone the AI isn't going to be too fond of, probably. Now, I am looking forward to finishing all of this. Uh, and we, I just, I'm looking forward to it. We, do, we have some of the uh, decent ideas. I think the best one is, uh, I think, the inspired recruit. A noble house and request, ha or nobles request housing and land for farming estates. The ruling class who came with us on the fleet are requesting that we provide them with large estates befitting their status that can be used for uh, subsistence farming and growing of cro cash crops not to mention their increased personal wealth we could also give that we could just give them the land they at the usual price which will allow them to quickly establish their farms alternatively we could charge a premium for the land which will increase our treasury but will temporarily bankrupt the known pools um the only thing is technically it's not a good idea it's better just to give them the land for free uh, because it befits your economy in the long run uh, just to do it for free uh, now, Alicia is for the long time just going to be how we make money. Uh, Greek is currently our uh, primary culture uh, until uh, quite late, actually. It will be quite a while. 
And here we go. Visits from the north. We have received a delegation from a previously unknown group of people to the north. They seem to be the remnants of the Varangian colonies that, who, that who were fought the abandoned centuries ago. According to historical documents, the Varangians of old made fierce and raiders and eventually became distinguished traders in their own right, but only because raiding became impossible to accomplish with the advancements of fortification in Europe. We, along with the native of this new world we call Elysium, do not access to have do not have access to such fortifications, so we decided to send a delegation, delegation of our own to the north to talk with the leaders of these Varangians. Free repair a delegation. Now, these are the two factions you can pick from uh, for my, my second let's play: Heluland and Markland. Either I'm okay with. Personally, I prefer the blue because it's a nicer color. But uh, they're as strong as each other. Now, the Varangian colonies. Our diplomats have finally arrived at the northern Varangian colonies and were, were quite surprised. They were, they were expecting uh, barbaric dwellings filled with horned, pale men, but instead they found quite the large wooden city that housed a strange mix of both pale and native men. And while one could say the city was underdeveloped by our standards, their apparent success in such terrible isolation was a marvelous sight to behold. When our diplomats were finally received by their leaders, they were given two trade propositions. One of the most northern of the colonies, called Heluland, promising a stable source of naval materials from their ongoing naval operations, and the other with the sovereign Markland. They proposed, instead, a wide array of exotic ivories, furs, and oils. The northern colonies made it clear that this was a diplomatic play, and that accepting one would exclude the other. Now, we could get the naval, but I personally prefer the exotic goods for production efficiency, so we're going to go for an alliance with Markland. Um, that is honestly in our best interest. Uh, native assimilation in Mifane. Uh, so we're very close to this being done. We're going to get Chesapeake and then Dogue. Chesapeake just because it's, uh, I get the bay then. I've locked in the bay and we're all good. So we're very close to being on the Great Power List already. Just because of Alicia and how strong Alicia itself is. Um, so that's very good. Um... Our leader is uh, expansionistic, which is actually really good for us. A modest church. Local religious leaders are saying that it is time for us to build a church dedicated to God. Whereas we are currently limited in resources, we can only build a basic church using wooden and stone. The emperor's advisors remind him that if he paid for it out of his own treasury, he would have increasing control over the, where the temple's tax income is invested. It's too expensive, the nobles can fund it, I would say. I mean, it's... I would rather pay for it out of my own pocket, but I don't have the gold, so it's rather it's too expensive the nobles can fund it. The church itself is going to help me make money, uh, but I don't have the uh, ability to really get it right now. And we're going to get we're just going to start Chesapeake. Homeland settles with the Nubrin province of uh, Mafane settled. It is time to encourage settlers to move there. While this may weaken our capital for a short period of time, we'll certainly help with the development of newly acquired provinces. So the same. Now, I'd say plus five there, and now that's really worth it. And the Elysian Homelands, I can see it already. We're not going to bother reading all that again, because it's going to be done for these five. And there we go, we've now got the Pahuan, who are here. Now, the thing we can do with them is deal with them, which means we'll give them 120 ducats, and they'll leave. Um, it is honestly advised to try your damnedest to make that money to get rid of them, because honestly, it's simpler. Improvements in the production technology. We are going to accept the inflation, I would say. It's a little bit... It's just, at the moment, it's good for us, so we'll accept the inflation. Um, so, yeah, everything should be going fine on that front. Uh, we started off with a lot more um, stability than I normally do. I normally start with minus one stability when we get here if you're Hellenic. So, or the decisions I made last time I played this game. So pretty happy with that now we're probably definitely gonna buy them out I'm, i i mean I'd, I'd prefer to attack them but it's safer to buy them out um they will not roll marry me because i don't like i can't roll marry them so we will have to give them a gift and then buy them out which means we're gonna need extra income so we're gonna need about 250 150 ducats to buy them out of the uh buy them out of their little hole um so that's it's a pain but it's definitely, most definitely doable. We've gone down to 300 colonists now. So these two will last to be 300. And the rest will go back to the simple... I think it's a thing that normal. It just goes back to normal after a while. Which is honestly fine. I don't mind. 
Now, there will be a war up here soon uh, between these two, and hopefully Markland will win. Because, well, they are currently allied, but it's only, that's only for the uh, story, like the story, the, the story sake, basically. They will fight, and it will be interesting. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pain to get... Oh, they desire my provinces now, so we may have to actually attack them. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Um, hmm. 25 ducats alone will give me enough... A pit, you know what? Let's, uh, let's give them the gold. And let's uh, set our action just friendly towards them. And they may, may they may just suddenly turn like that and be like, No, you know what, mate? We're good. We're good. We don't want we don't want your promises anymore. Let's be the best of friends. And let's uh, everything. Uh, reform the mili military. A serious problem has recently been brought to our attention. We are trapped in this new world with little manpower and virtually no wealth. And yet our military is still operating on the old Roman model. Our model which is costly to maintain for not enough benefit. We must reform the army if we are to survive we are to long survive this Elysia. We could conscript native warrior or span the militia. Expanding the native warriors gives us this, but it gives us loses discipline. Oh no, yeah, they actually that's just oh that's just mercenaries. Whereas this, it gets rid of production efficiency, uh, increases morale of armies, manpower recovery speed. Kind of fucks us up quite a bit. Um, but I think personally, I don't care for mercenaries at all. So I'm gonna go expand the militia. I am going to risk my own how I like playing just because I think it's gonna be better this way. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And remember to vote on which guys you want. Well, not vote, but tell me which you guys you want in the part and down uh, bleh, the description down below. If you guys would like to support my Patreon, it's in the description. I'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.